though, which is quickening. This is where we all find our ultimatum eventually, through self-destruction and listening to the sharpened tongue of others' distaste. You can't hear me, and neither can I. I neglected the freedom of flight. This is what you have sculpted me into. I harnessed a knife in this right hand to protect my skin from the words you spat at me, and hit it just hard enough to cry out colourful metal as a tattoo left forever. I was never safe from start to finish. There were no angels or gods as promised. This is the final destination and the carriage terminates here. My acquaintances are deep in the realm of opaqueness, vacant and dead behind the eye just the way you like it. And they stare blankly, waiting for my calculated response. This is what we have been taught. You shall not come knocking when the roaring lion's head is playing with sleep. He does not wish to be disturbed. There is a white sheath surrounding my bound wrists, as I am bound to my own gravestone. of consistent remuneration have me hung up like an orphan in a flea market on a Sunday. Profiting from me is the lowest form of victimisation. You're no better than the children stalking fields with lanterns and barge poles. Then you continue to play the tune, bang the drum and signal to the sky that the job has been done and that I am no longer. Imagine the being forced into sentience like a ball and a ring, then demanded to contribute onto the conveyor belt system led by rich folk in suits. They state that I cannot live as the brain, but instead the body that encapsulates it. So what if I am gone? Gone is just the prefix to this life that I did not choose to enroll. Mum, come and find me please. <laughs>